Office of the Premier of the North West has sent a request to the President's Office to declare this funeral of struggle stalwart and former Member of Parliament Ruf Mompati an official one. Mompati died in Cape Town in the early hours of yesterday morning at the age of 80 nine after a short illness she started her political career in the 1950s while she was working as a typist for mandela and tambo attorneys she held various positions within the anc after going into exile in 1962. her last public appearance was in freiburg where the anc in the northwest unveiled a statue to honor her role in the struggle for a democratic south africa now anc northwest provincial secretary Dakota Lechwete joins us from our SABC Mahi King studios to talk a bit more about the life and times of Ruth Mompati. Dakota, I thank you today for joining us. Uh, thank you very much, Madame, and to all the viewers of SABC 404. Dakota, if we can just start with the initial reaction from the ANC in the Northwest to the sad news um, that Ruth passed away yesterday. Uh, look, it is with great sadness and shock for us as the African National Congress in the Northwest uh, uh, for the passing away of our mother, our leader, our icon, Seapa Rangwesi Tuala and the Mama Ruth Mumpati, who, who, as the ANC in the Northwest, we want to pay our homage and respect to her for her contribution and leadership to the ANC for almost 65 years that she has been a member and the leader of the African National Congress in the, in the ANC. And we are very saddened by her passing away because we wanted to learn more as the current leadership, including as the young generation of the leaders of the African National Congress. Together, she's done so much within the ANC. How do you actually sum up everything she did in her lifetime and say this was the impact of that? Look, among things which are very good about what Mama Ruth did was a respect to the values and the norms of the African National Congress, especially humility. Mama Ruth, even in any occasion where we would pay respect to her or even honor her, she would not forget the fact that she represents a collective, she represents a generation. And you will know the generation of Mama Ruth it's a generation that led the women of South Africa to the 1956 march. Mama Masabata Mama Sophie De Brain, Mama Ketru Chope, Mama Betha Kawa. That is the generation of Mama Ruth, including Nelson Mandela, Walter Zisulu, Oliver Tambo. That is a generation that was highly incorruptible and that made a very indelible mark in the liberation struggle of our country. Mama Ruth was part of the leaders who were instructed by the ANC to go and form part of the international solidarity in a fight against apartheid. She left the country with the ANC intact in 1962. She came back to start the negotiation after 1990, and she did that splendidly that as a gener current generation of leaders of the ANC, we found the ANC intact in her hands. And for that, we want to be thankful to her family especially the Mumpati and the Sichoko family, including the whole community of Freiburg and Dr. Ruth Sukhumutsi Mumpati people, as well as our people in the province, that we want to say thank you to Mama Ruth and her generation for having brought the ANC safe, but also for having brought a liberation and a freedom that today we enjoy, particularly both the freedom of the media, the freedom that we enjoy through uh, support from government through social grants, through housing, through primary health care that is free. All these things are not uh, free as we think. There are people who sacrificed and there is no way that if we recognize whoever was sacrificed in the liberation struggle, we cannot mention the name of Mama Ruth Sukhomutsu Mumpati. She has made a mark and what a benevolent human spirit for excellence that she has demonstrated. And I can tell you, when we honored her three weeks ago before she, she went to the hospital, one of the things she mentioned on that day is that there's a current leadership of the ANC. It's going to be important for us to be educated. It's going to be important that we lead with humility. We leave arrogance. We become humble and become servants of our people. She was very clear. 
And when we honored her, she said, it, I'm receiving this on behalf of a generation and a people. And I cannot say it's Ruth Mumbad who did this thing. This was done through the collective wisdom of all the leaders of the NC that I've worked and led with, her, with them. And that for me, it was a turning point of understanding more broadly what the African National Congress stands for. And I think for that, uh, we, may, we must pay uh, respect and homage to her life and celebrate it because that life was not life lived privately. It was the life lived for the cause of humanity and the improvement of a better life for all. Dakota, I just want to ask then, as a tribute to um, Ruth, what is the ANC in the Northwest going to be focusing on in the future, just looking back at her legacy and trying to implement some of those important examples that she set for us as a country? Look, already there is a process that we have started. There is Dr. Ruth Sokomozi Mimpati uh, uh, Foundation, which is going to work closely in terms of ensuring that we retain and maintain a legacy, particularly the legacy of wanting young people and young leaders to go to school, wanting everybody to learn. And uh, that Ruth Mumbati uh, Foundation, I think, will work closely with them as the ANC to retain a legacy through making the public aware in terms of the values and norms and, and uh, life that she lived, in terms of her wishes, including the fact that uh, she has worked tirelessly for the betterment of her people. You know, Mama Ruth, uh, she has never retired. Even if she passed on, she was still working. And that is one of the tributes that we need to bring to our young people and to us as a young generation of leaders, that hard work pays. There's no way that you can take corners. You need to be honest, diligent, and serve our people. Not yourself, not your belly, uh, because that is what uh, she stood for. And there are so many important things that we're going to have to carry with us in the future, remembering Ruth. Well, Dakota, I thank you for joining us today. That there is the ANC Northwest Provincial Secretary, Dakota Lkhwete, joining us from Mahikeng.